Okay, so um, we've built a calculator and you see that and go, okay, let's run it. And I'll run it on the iPhone SE and let's have a look and see how it runs. So the simulator is going to start up and I kind of know that it's going to be a bit rubbish because we can have a look down here and we can go, we can change the size. These get us indication. And part of the problem is that we've set fixed sizes for everything and we haven't used constraints. So what um, we do, oh, I'm waiting for the simulator. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use some constraints and make it good for all sizes. So calculate starts up. And this is an iPhone SE in size and we can see it looks okay. Okay, so it looks looks fine. So I'll quit that simulator, close that down, and I'll change it to iPhone 8 Plus and run it on that just to show. And we're going to see that it's going to look similar to So it's going to be right along the sides and starting up. And there we go. So we've got some that working. So how are we going to do this? So lucky for us, and I'll go back to this one. Lucky for us, Xcode or iPhone offers this thing called constraints. So we're going to have a look at our what we've got, we've got all these things, um, button, button, empty buttons, label at the top. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually use constraints. So we use these things down here to set and clear constraints. So to set constraints on our label, <coughs> we're going to sit there, and this here indicates how far from the top margin. And I'm going to say I want it right up on the top margin, right on the left margin, right on the there, and I want it a fixed height, but I'm going to make it 110 because I like round numbers. I don't need to say this because I'm giving it a height, so it will be able to calculate that perfectly. So I add those four constraints and that means that now this will always appear in that position and it will scale so it will always be zero from the margin. So to do the next one we're actually going to select each row like that and we're going to use what we call a stack view. So this will break our layout but then we'll fix it up. So I'm embedded in a stack view I'm going to do the next row. So I'm holding, holding command down as I select them. And I'm putting it in a stack view. In a stack view. In a stack view. And these three in a stack view. Now, up here, like you can see, I've got those buttons in the stack. I'm going to select all of these, so hold it down, click shift, and I'm going to put that in a vertical stack view. Now this stack view, I'm actually going to constrain, I'm going to say I want it zero from the nearest neighbor, which is our label there, I want it zero and I want it zero. So this is going to go right to the edges. And I also want it zero from there, which means no matter what size screen it's going to be on, it's always going to constrain it to the label and to the sides of that. So constrain it. Now, go, oh wow, that hasn't done much. Um, but what we've done is we have just said we got the stack view, filled it. We have to go through and set on these four stack views, we actually just have to say we want them zero from the left 
and zero from the right. And we can add all those constraints. And yeah, oh, yuck. But have a look at this. If we go distribution, fill equally. So that's next one. And on our stack top stack view, we go distribution, fill equally. That's starting to get there. Now, beauty of stack views, we can put automatic spacing in, one, two, three maybe, maybe two, and then these ones, select all of those. I'm going to go one, two, and the last one I have to fix up is this bottom one. And all I'm going to do there is I'm going to go put these in a stack view and change that to fill equally and one, two. Now, what I've done is I've put these in. These will automatically adjust for any size. You can even go to an iPad, um, go down and go down. So, and to prove that, we're going to stop and we're going to run that on an iPhone 8 Plus. So, we're going to see that running in a second and it doesn't look too bad. So, it looks alright. Now, we could bling it up a bit, we could add um, rounded corners and stuff like that, but that's given us the layout we need for any um, adaptable, flexible layout that we need for um, any size iPhone. So, thanks for watching that, and I'll catch you for the next one.